Greetings, my fellow pony lovers. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, of course, and let us continue our campaign in Equestria War as the Bakaran Republic after. And then we'll get to a few comments as well. So, Rubber Convention on Racial Tolerance. Ponahian, I still can't say that word right, has convened the members of the community to discuss the matters of racial equality. They propose a new convention aimed at promoting tolerance between the many races of the community. Signatories of the convention will be committed to eliminating racial discrimination and promoting understanding when be between all races. It also requires its signatories to outlaw hate speech and criminalization of or criminalizing racial violence. Ponaidhian wants to form a Pan Riverlands committee to oversee the implementation of the convention and monitor its use. The verdicts made by this committee would be binding in the countries that sign the treaty. This convention would likely make other races more eager to join the community in the future. Let us sign it. Which would give more to political power, stability, and improve relations opinions. Not bad. Cool. I guess since we're going that way, we must well do that. And let's see. Expand stuff. We did have the option here if off screen to see if we could do more stuff. Cool! But we have to get through a couple, through a couple of comments. We are currently at war with the Socialist Republic of Longsword. Even though I'm really not partaking in the war, because look at all that. Supply would just go down for us, and we don't want that. And there goes Lushi. Goodbye, Lushi. Which, no one really complained yesterday when I puppeted, like, the Kingdom of Prywen and the Republic of Zaf Zafzia. So, I'm probably just going to end up puppeting these guys as well. So, just because I don't think... They're probably... River City is probably strong enough to have their own puppet, but... Since we're the leader, we might as well puppet that and make sure that administration wise or administratively that these guys will still basically follow in our footsteps my gosh over three political power day mm, that's so good yes uh, i don't want to hurt ourselves too much with that stuff we could do that but i don't want to hurt my civilian factories which are going very nicely and the dread league has won the war against octarian order which is actually very terrifying and that was one of the comments from yesterday keep an eye continually keep an eye on the dread league because uh whew, that is not going to be easy to fight if, especially if we go to war with them. But we found the Rosent Com, which is a great thing. One another comment was from yesterday, like, for these focuses, for some of them, if another nation within the River Coalition does a focus and gets the National Spirit, do we also get the National Spirit? The question or the answer is yes. For example, someone did a River Central Bank. Do you see that River Central Bank National Spirit, minus 2% consumer goods factories? The person who you know, researched it or did the focus, will get that benefit as well as everyone else in the coalition, or at least the members do. So, that is uh, a very good thing. It's a good thing you guys ask, just because if someone has questions about that, that's a good thing to know. Grand Army of the Republic, National Science Fund, expand the airplane industry, mounting guns, us. Uh, we could do that. Ooh, Arms of the Cossacks, kind of cool. Uh, we could. Ooh, War Bonds. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. But we're already so far ahead, it doesn't really matter. I want to spend more time making ourselves even better. And the poll tax, stability, political power, that we don't actually need any of this. Civilian factors would be really nice. And this actually wouldn't be bad either, United Riverlands Committee. But we still have this to do. Also, there's another comment from yesterday saying that I chose Crit the SAZ over at Stick to the Sea. Even though before I did say I love doing naval stuff, I still do. But overall, I just think this is just better overall. Get more pony power in states, you get another building slot. This doesn't help you that much at all, really. It gives you a naval dockyard. Which is fine. You can always build another one. Here actually would have been better because you get an escort efficiency and some more dockyard output. But you get political power, resource gain, less resources to market. I think that's pretty good. But we're going to try to get technology overall. So we want that developed science base. Let's get some industrial modernization first. As our current levels of industrial technology is somewhat behind the times, renewed interest or investment in improving our industrial capabilities was one of the first suggestions to come from the EDC. Let us embark on this initiative without any delay. We've got to continue making sure that we have enough factory so that we don't lose the leadership position that we have found ourselves in thus far. We already have four research slots, which is great, but obviously it's never going to be enough. Let's get even better fighters. Wow. We already need even more fighters already. We got enough steel for now until we actually even make some guns, but hmm. So what do I do with my political power? Hey, we got one factory going on that military factory stuff. Good, good, good. These guys are going to get crushed, and yeah, just... I, I don't know if this is going to affect anyone's, like, focuses. I could be right about that. I could be very wrong. But like I said earlier, I'm just going to pop with these guys under our administration just because it'd probably be for the best. I don't know. Oh, instead of Lushi, we'll have to get addressed as well. Can we uh, satellite them? Just a few more stuff. Satellite them. Probably not puppet them. We could puppet. Puppet? Puppet. Just the entire nation. I don't, I don't want to puppet. I don't want to have, you know, just these guys as... I don't want to have the Hellquill release because it helps with lag, but you know, whatever. Here we go. The Kingdom of Hellquill. Oh, you're back together. Great. 
Shia has fallen. Establish OKH. The Harmony Pony Minorities. The New Lenact. They probably are still basically going down their same path as before. Probably. Springtime, yeah, they're going down with down this path, which they probably can't do anything more because the current ruling party is supremacy. <laughs> oh man, we kinda locked them out. But you know what? It's their own fault. It's their own gosh darn fault. Which is whatever, you know? Whatever. The Grand Crusade actually looks pretty good. We gotta play as this nation. I have to play Equestria more more often, just because it looks like such a great, well developed mod, and it is. It really is. Military training, we could do that since we're running out of things to do. Oh not bad, not bad. I'll let that go on for now. Do we need any more fuel or chromium? Uh, not really, actually. Not yet. Psh, military training. You know what? You might as well. Go ahead. Nice. Hey, another operative. Great. Thunder Snowflake. Counterintelligence. Uh, I like that counterintelligence a lot. That's pretty good. Uh, oh, wait. Hold on. Wait, wait. Do we see that? Offer membership to Water Towns. Bacaran Republic has invited us to join the Treaty of Coldstream. Now, I want one of these. Well, obviously, Chieftain was not going to do it. Fir tree. Master the... Actually, what, what do they have to do? Hold on. So, for fir tree to do that, sign the Treaty of Cult Stream, which they might not end up doing. I don't mind getting Watertown in, because that sounds like a lot of fun. And these guys are Harmony, but you guys are communists as well. But Farbrook wants to go to war with them. I'm kind of okay with that. Supremacists? That's okay. You know, that's okay. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait. Wrong one. We want fir tree. Master the Earth. Masters of the Earth. Where is that? Peace of the Commune. They probably went isolationist? No. The Commune cannot be trusted. Fur tree. Sign the thing of a bob. Ruling party is Harmony. Hmm. Where is there? One. Oh, they're over here. You know what? Just in case, Fur tree, we still might be able to get them. Because they are Harmony. So let's go to offer membership to these guys. See what happens. Hey, they signed the treaty. Watertown was invited. By us to join the Treaty of Cold Stream to further mutual cooperation. The ambassador appeared today with the treaty signed and ratified. With water towns joining the treaty, we are even stronger against outside threats. Great. Even though we can't reach them. Which kind of sucks. But do they get all these national spirits? Ah, oh, they might. They might? Yes, they might do. Actually, that's actually really good. Even though the communists... We can still deal with communists as long as they help us against the Dread League. Which... which this might actually end... Have us end up... Uh, getting into an early war with the Dread League, which I'm not happy about. Oh, that's maybe not good. Maybe that wasn't a good thing. <laughs> maybe that really wasn't a good thing. But, well, oh well, it's do what's done is done, right? Uh, another comment from yesterday said, uh, the Diamond Dogs, like I said in the earlier episodes, they wanted to go to war, maybe with other people, just to keep an eye on it, but they went Harmony, so they can't get that revenge focus against, uh, yeah, they can't do that, so they went this way. They can't do go down this way. Hello, Dog, keep our words. Yeah. So they can't do that, which is a good thing. Next up. Uh, let's see. Uh, investing in the electronics industry. Electronic devices are becoming more and more widespread, and cutting-edge systems are being researched in laboratories around the world. It would be wise for us to prepare our manufacturing sector to produce these electronic devices, either for military or consumer application. Right now, 88% from, from Wittenland. That is fine. I want to spend my political power some way, somehow. I really do. Because I, I want to build up our in infrastructure, because as time goes on, we'll be able to build more states or more factories in these areas. And I just want to make sure when that happens, we can build as much as possible. Build, 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 build. Okay, so we're not going to go to war yet. We have eight destroyers, six light cruisers, and two capital ships. That's not bad. I think right now we're going to start focusing a little bit more on naval stuff. Because we have this early cruiser, but really, I think it's time to get some maybe battleship twos at least. If not battleship threes, if we can. Man, over three political power a day. I mean, we could do this, but I don't hurt my stability. It's already 100%. Oh, uh, it takes out three... Cool. Division sp Eh, you must well do that. We're still at 10 here. Uh, what's all the other focuses that everyone else is doing? Special forces. Mature our doctrine. Ah, they're doing the bank. Good. Let them do the bank. River Swirl. And this is a River Republic, which we do have to keep an eye on. Joint exercises. Free pony. Dreams of a fed. They're finally doing Dreams of a Federation. White Star, you're looking kind of old and thick. Acquire fighter models. Good. State of religion. Huh. So, that's good. So, that means, after this one is done... We're still going to go with mining mechanization, which will be done right now. And we'll do this one. Oopsie. I need to read that. So, our land is rich in natural resources, which we which we lack the technology to effectively tap. Developing new, better machines will also dig deeper and take effective advantage of them. So, ooh. I'm completely ignoring the military stuff. So, they're going to get that one done. We'll get consumer goods. Great. We don't get that point. We could do this. We have more consumer goods. The river union would not be bad. 
But even then, we, we can ignore that probably too, if we really wanted to. The river army, we'll probably have to, we might have to do that one, maybe not. I like the army experience gain. A united riverland government. We might start focusing more on that stuff soon enough. But let's start focusing a little bit more on ships. Uh, we're gonna need we're gonna need armor where we're going. If you don't have enough armor, there's no point in making ships. You don't want to just get blown up, do you? I don't. Cool, cool, cool. Reporting Republic to war on Fezia. But they already war. Ah, central bank. Good. The increasingly interdependent economies of the Riverland lack serious oversight in monetary matters. In reality, the smaller national banks usually just follow the lead of those in larger economies. River Republic has promised to end this and ensure that all member states can equally talk about the monetary policy by making that a pan riverland task. A new central bank will be made in which will oversee the national central banks. This bank will be almost completely independent from the River Commission and national governments. It would be massively or it would massively improve what we can do with our economy, but these breaches of national sovereignty are starting to become pretty severe. Cool. So there it's six. We still have the the advantage here, so I'm not really too worried about it yet. Oh, there's a lot of violence going on over here. Are we still mobilizing? No, we're not. We have 100,000 people, which is fine. Keep building up them roads. Oh, I love roads. Which Actually, let's keep an eye on that, just because we might have other focuses which give us more roads elsewhere. Economically prop up other rebel coalition places. Not really. Philosophical committee might be really good to do as well. Nice. Uh, reinforce, we can't do that. Workshops, development science base. We can't come down here, which is fine. This is really nice. Technology over others. This. Ooh, another research slot. Oh, that'd be so good to get. Blackwater method. Ooh, I like that. That looks really good. L limitless industrialization. But we can't do that, can we? Create that. Oh, we can do this one too. Cool. So we have no other focuses, it looks like, for infrastructure, which is fine. Totally, 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 totally fine. It is 20, 10, 12. I haven't done this yet either. Oh my goodness. I'm glad we've got everyone else to help us research stuff too. Money can't buy you victory, it seems. R what? No? Oh, so one, one, one. The River Republic is sixth. Oh boy. Oh, that's a big old kingdom, and oh, another kingdom over there. We might end up in a war with them. Hey, another division. Good. Another, oh, at least okay division. Motorized. That wouldn't be bad. Are we missing anything besides planes? A little bit of artillery as well. We've got to keep that in mind. Republican militia is looking okay. Can we? We might need to get more. Support companies. And let's grab technology overall. If we're to place our nation at the forefront of the world's advanced economies, we have no choice but to dedicate ourselves to scientific technological methods. Technology has proven its utility for improving standards of living across societies, and we must always strive to stay on the cutting edge. More industrial, electronics, and research speed, and just research speed in general, which is awesome. Good. Use our naval XP to get better ships. I mean, what am I supposed to do with all this political power? Can I invest in other people? Yes, I can. Please, yes. We're building our factor our roads up very nicely. Oh, level 10. That is beautiful. We get more steel and more oil. Oh, I love it. It warms my heart. Are we using fighters? Early bombers. Early bombers. That's fine. Maybe we'll grab some uh, technical bombers. But we're going to focus on ships first just because it takes so long to produce good ships. We can produce really garbage ships if we want to. Oh, yeah. That's good to do as well. Yeah, since we have the political power. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please don't tell me. Oh, wait. Farbrook is just fine. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, we only have supply issues because of that. Please tell me you're trying to kill off the fir trees. Begin eastern expansion. Please tell me you're going to kill the, off the fir trees. Or, uh, other people. Gain Annex War Goal against Diamond Mountain. Yes. Yes. Please do that. We want a war. <laughs> Shh, don't tell my cabinet, or don't tell the newspapers that I want war. But, I want war. <laughs> don't tell the newspapers I said that. Or the press, or anyone in there. Technology overall, that would be so good. Develop science base. We, I mean, we have substantial. We're going to lose 0.10 political power. Or, yeah, 0.10, or 0.1, really. But we get plus 30% research speed. Oh my gosh, yes. That's going to be so nice. Still getting more naval XP. Griffonian Republic. I thought they already were killing each other before, but you know what? You guys do you guys. Nova Griffonia looking pretty thick. The Solar Empire is really not having a good time against a changing empire. And right now, ooh, are we at 86%? That's getting better. Good. All or nothing, that's good. That's good. But we also make sure we have enough, good enough cannons for when we actually do our stuff there. So that'll be a good thing to do. Technology overall. Great. We might get that extra research slot. What are they doing? Defend the frontier. Foundations of a modern state. Is that... That's not down here. So they can't do that one yet. Any more than 10 civilian factories. I don't think they're going to be able to really do that anytime soon. 
Uh, foundations of modern state, that's fine. Can anyone else do that? President Alliance. Do you hack? Yeah, they could do that too. I mean, they might. I mean, there's no point for us to do it yet. Let's just keep improving ourselves first, because it, it's totally fine for now. The Riv bit, I would love that, but... Actually... Yeah, it was 6, 10, 10, 6, 1, 1, 1, 1. We got time. I hope. So, let's create that, so then we can get another research slot. La Bakarashka Nacionalna Academia. Oh my goodness, so the National Academy of Practical Science shall be established with the goal of promoting scientific discovery and technological innovation. The education it offers will provide students with the knowledge and skills to bring Bakara forward into an age of promises. Yes, for the love of the Lord, please. Go ahead and repair everyone, if you need to. I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. Get up to three, just because I want these done fast. And new Novo Grafonia. That's interesting. No, T TM? What? Uh, are, are they market liberals or something? Ah, oh, there's supremacy. TM. Ah, they're led by a CEO. Oh. Lib libertarian rights, huh? Well, I see. Well, they're supremacists, so maybe they're more like... Hmm. Authorite? I don't know. Political compass means they're just crazy. Good. Just go ahead and not repair. Oh, an extra light cruiser. It's not great, but it is what it is. It's what we can afford. Everyone repair and have a sip of nice herbal tea. You know, this feels very hot still. Ah, very good. Anything up here? Uh, yes, we might as well keep doing that. Keep building infrastructure, more division speed, more intel network strength gain factor. I think that'd be great. What are we doing here? Anything? Well, I don't really want to hurt these factories any more than I already am, but looking pretty good. Come on, Farbuck, please go to war. Please, 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 please go to war. They can go to war already. Changing's occupy polar bears, worrying. Ah, uh, they got it done. Cool. Patriotic literacy campaign. Very patriotic. Wow. Oh, the, they actually capitulated and became the Northern Protector. That is aw That is awesome. Arthur James Pinguinton. Pinguinton. I like that. How did they do that? Polar bear temper. Oh my goodness. Scorching sun. Oh, that's not good. I really like that. Oh my goodness. Come on, guys. Please go to war with us. Please. Please make my day. Make my day. Ah, great. Yes. I do want to get through here as fast as possible, but another military factory wouldn't hurt first. Eh, let's grab this one. So, Unicorn Scholars, in collaboration with industrial chemists, have made major breakthroughs through the process of converting and storing medical energy. These revolutionary techniques will help us produce synthetic crystals with unmatched efficiency. A fifth research slot. we got to make sure we catch up in time. It's almost 10.13. Oh. Good. 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 Oh, man. This research. Uh, plus 28%. Finally. Research opportunities are awesome. Basic cannons, get even better cannons. I don't want to produce garbage. And great support the fall of Cloudbury. The final act of a 30-year play. That's kind of cool. Combat teams. And then come down here, because I'm already going to grab that. Happy 10-13, my friends. It's going to be a great year. More region-wide region industrial integration. That's looking good. And then even more civilian factories right there. Which I should really not put there, but whatever. Alright, so where the focus is for everyone else? The old ways. Connect cold stream. Uh, what is that? Huh. Oh, it's over there. Oh, infrastructure, nice. Good. Ah, they're finally doing their rail project. That's good for them. Let's grab maybe some more research speed. Yes. 8%. Wow, that's really good. <sighs> you know, 260 days is a lot of days, but that's so much better than what we had before. You actually just ate up Lushi. We didn't even get a piece of for that. Which is fine, you know, whatever. Kind of dockyards. Doctrinal advancement, which is fine. You guys are introducing the Leichte Fellhaubitze. More machine guns! Ah, I can't go wrong with machine guns. Spend Koltevac Military Academy? Good. Cool. Yeah, we keep ignoring all that stuff. Blackwater Method. Synthetic refinery sounds really good, actually. Uh, we could do that. Let's grab the Blackwater method. Research into synthetic oil production has yielded more intriguing results, with chemical engineers inventing a novel method for synthesizing oil, which they call the Blackwater method. By putting efforts towards refining this method further, we can massively increase the resources at our nation's disposal. Because we get a free synthetic refinery, which I think is just amazing. I love that so much. Please uh, keep, keep helping these guys out. We love everyone in the faction. As best as we possibly can love them. 
Can I go to war with you guys? I want to add you to our guys. Oh, uh, democracies can't justify war goals against countries that have not generated world tension. Oh, that's why I don't like playing democracies or harmony people, because we can't go to war with them. Big sadness, I know. A lot of big sadness. God, we can research stuff so fast now. It's so nice. I love it. Love it, 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 love it. Actually, our coalition is actually pretty big. Like, we, because people declared war on us and stuff, and we declared war on them, we reach all the way down to the Carthinian pack. And almost, and technically we touched the Republican pack as well, which is not bad. It's still a little bit too ahead of time. We got that done. We'll get cruisers done eventually. We'll go ahead and grab the next big ship. It's only three months. Earlier it was probably like four or five months, but that's not bad. That's really nice. So that once this is done, then we're going to start producing level three battleships, which will carry us into the end of the game. You know what? We're making all this stuff. We might not, might not ever need it. There's a chance that that, that will happen. All right. We got all of our own infrastructure done, which is nice. Um, I'm going to say go and grab more fuel because we can. It's always nice to trade away for more fuel or trade our fuel away for other stuff that we might need. I still need support companies. We could make these 20 com 40 combat with. That actually might be the better idea. Hmm. Because we don't have a big army, but we can make it a really good army. Now I'm thinking this. Uh, go ahead and do that. I'll make this entire line this. There you go. That's going to really hurt our pony power, but whatever. Uh, like when you play some mods, especially like TNO, the last days of Europe, you want a, the best army. Not a huge army. Well, it can be huge, but the best army possible. So that means like, uh, you know... Not a massive army. Just a big army. Research, uh, ship-wise, I really want to make sure we get to the light cruisers as well at the same time. But I'm only going to dedicate two at a time to that. We're getting this already. I kind of want to try mechanical range finders as well this time. Because I, I almost never choose them. I almost never ever choose them. But you know what? Let's try them out. Let's try them out. I never choose them. Cool. And... Let's see... Black water method, a great idea. Limitless industrialization? Oh, yeah, we could do that immediately. Let's see this one. Although we have taken some significant steps, our transformation into an industrial economy is not yet complete. Serious government investment in the manufacturing sector will be needed to take care of the rest of the leap forward. Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. That actually is still hurting our manpower. That's fine. Our pony power, I should say. My bad. Good. Uh, You should have 100%. Yeah, you do. Good stuff. Dual purpose secondary guns. Good. Mm, we have to do research that one and that one, so let's grab that one next. So we have one, two, technically three-ish, but that one's that one gets done pretty quickly, so that's pretty good. We're actually focusing on our navy. We have still a little bit of manpower left, which is awesome. Pony power, my bad. Uh, that takes three. I don't want to waste that. Yep, no one else is focusing on, focusing on other stuff now, which is, you know, fine. Or this, this seems like that. Oh, good. Even more research speed. Beautiful. Beautiful. Do we have any extra planes? We might. We oh, we're out of pony power. That sucks. Uh, that really sucks. I would love to integrate everyone here. You yeah, might as well. Just grab some more of that. Good. 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 Grab some radar as well, just because we're going to manually build it eventually, as well as use it on our ships. We need them on our ships, definitely. Nice. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Oh, we're going to need some motorized too. There you go. Make sure the fighters we have are pretty good. Now we can't even make an air force because we're out of manpower. Pony power. Mm. Nice. Uh, what's everyone else doing? Aviation, armored warfare, import stuff, scientific development. Yeah, they don't really seem to care about forming the Federation. Are you? Are they doing their focus tree already? They might be. Huh. <sighs> Growing the salt industry. Eh, let's grab this one. The Koltavak Gornji Nuclear Fission Department. Nuclear fission of heavy elements is a recent discovery, but what is already clear is that these reactions can release tremendous amounts of energy. If we're able to harness this new power, the possibilities could be limitless. What? Are, are you seriously done? You're already done with your focus tree. Yeah, you, you're already down here. A new Charm Harrell. Bulgarian society. Oh. Oh, they can modernize. Oh, they can't come down here yet because they don't have 10 civilian factories to follow Lost Pegasus. Ah, oh, good. That ship is done. They could go there, but I guess they're just completely ignoring that for now. Whatever. Mm, I still have a ahead of time. Two. How many slots do we have? We have one. We can get the second one on here, too. So let's go and do that. We're going to get that unlocked. Grab that, too. Good. Hmm. Just got another factory. Nice. Oh, uh, no. We lost it. Ooh. 
and we're done with infrastructure. We built up all four slots to a beautiful amount. So then we'll do that there as well, and then we will build some right there, and then we will build some more dockyards right there too. Oh, so we can have a total of 12. Oh, that's so nice. And maybe build some more right there. Great. What more could you ask for? More slots. Exactly. My thoughts exactly. Two days. Decryption. Love it. Uh, range fighters. Might as well do that one next. And we'll continue to maybe do some nuclear stuff. That'd be fun. 86% went down. That's good. Good. Subjects. Love them. What are these guys up to, actually? The Luftwaffe. Okay. Antonin Vil Aerotech. From ignorance to knowledge. Air production. Oh, that's good. They're doing air production. Go ahead and grab that one, because the other one is easier. Researching armor is faster than actually researching better ships. Good. And we're going to grab this one next. I'm going to grab everything we can before we actually unite. So grow the salt industry. Although Bacata is home to many rich salt deposits, the process of extraction has historically been too expensive and dangerous to warrant significant investment. However, the advent of modern industrial technologies has made the process far safer for miners. We should encourage the establishment of new salt mines to take advantage of these developments. So it goes down, and we get a whole other military factory so we can get some motorized, maybe, if we don't have it already. Yep, and then eventually early bombers. Improved airplane capabilities. Yes, and now we have another slot for that. One, two, muy bueno. Now we could do the battleship already, but we're not going to. Cruisers, no, no, mark ones. We have only level one anti air, which is not very good. Level three batteries is nice. I want at least one level radar. Eh, that's fine. You know what? We're going to start making it now. If possible. Dual purpose is awesome. We can make these battleships, or we can make them battle cruisers. We still get more armor in the end, but we get a little bit more speed. A little more HP that way. Actually, let's go to that armor, ship armor 3. So if we go here, you get 40 more HP. You get 40 more HP regardless, actually. Your speed, though, right now, it will actually... Actually, hold on. If we did Battleship 3, then we go down here, we'd lose... The supply use, we lose 10 armor. Actually, that's... Mm, 10 armor is not bad. More armor is always better. That speed is that speed honestly is not bad. That's actually pretty good. So I'm gonna keep that with this. Battleship armor three is nice. Now let's keep well then again we are coming down here. We're still slowing ourselves quite a bit, so it is what it is. I'll get only one dual purpose. And then instead, maybe some more anti air. Even though we can't even pierce ourselves if we wanted to. That barely does anything for piercing. That all it does is slow us down. Mm-hmm. You know, let's go with speed. Screw it. I'm going with my original guesstimation. Nice. At least start make, trying to make this stuff. That'd be good. Good. So we're going to make... Uh, leave that on one for now. Because we want to upgrade the light cruisers as well. So, But unfortunately, we are out of pony power. Why do you hurt me so? Six still. Growing the salt industry, which would be great. I love less supply consumption. It's just one of my favorite things in this game. Oh, yeah, that's us. I was like, someone else doing that? Great. But no, just us. No national focus set. Wait, are you an actual member? Oh, they, they actually might be a member. Yeah, interesting. Um, I thought we took them over, so then they wouldn't actually be a member, but, hmm, interesting. Alright, so we actually got that too. Ooh, let's grab that, please. And since we're here, we don't actually have to make that yet then, just because we can throw this on there to Rangefinder. Now, it's going to hurt the reliability. I don't know how this is going to be really good or bad. But you know what? Do it anyways. I wanted to try it, so. There ship. Good. It's only a few days that we lost. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. Ban communism. Ban stuff. Ten, 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 ten. Good. Do that. Good. So we're done with this part of the tree. I think we're going to do this. I kind of want to go down here, too. Let's go this way. Economic harmon harmonism. Economic and industrial integration will undoubtedly prove key aspects of wider Atlantic integration. If greater sol solidarity is to be achieved, Vakata must begin to make decisive contributions to the renewal and modernization of our fellow River Coalition partners. Good. Good. Grab the next armor piece. That'd be awesome. Still building naval dockyards, building up civilian stuff. Uh, instead of that, we should probably build up some military factories, honestly. Oh, we can build up infrastructure down here, too. That actually might be worthwhile. Especially because a lot of these areas are pretty garbo. So, there you go. We might actually get down here. We might not. Someone is fighting a war, though, down here. Oh, that looks really bad. Strathborg? 
Frasberg. Actually, who, what nation is that? Never mind. Oh, the Holy Catherine Council's gone. Who's leading the empire? Ah, Duchess Gabriella Igokla. And you guys, a Gerlach? The Gryphonian Republic is not looking that good right now. Led by the communists, Richard Asler. I don't know. I want to say he's Norwegian, but I know he's, he's not. I don't think he is. I have no idea who he's taking inspiration from, but then again, I don't know a lot about this mod, but that's okay. That is a okay. Good. Keep building yourselves up. Nice. Please, why can't Firebrook go to war with us? Please. Good. And then we can build Raider, but whatever. Cool. Very good. Uh, that's a little bit too out of time. Anything else here that we really desperately need right now? Probably yes. Yes, basic medium batteries. I'm glad I caught that before we actually started making ships. Good. So we got the ships part done. The cruisers are done. Now they just need more guns on them. Which would be a nice thing. So let's ignore that for now. We can't do that, but we can get some better tactical bombers. Land auctions coming along. Very good. Mechanized defenses is always nice to do. And we got a ton of political power. What do I do with all this stuff? I've been saying that for the entire campaign so far. Uh, anything here? Air Doctrine, open the White Star Academy. They're, ah, they're doing the Rebit. Good, they are doing it. So we don't have to. So we might have to do the Rebel Union eventually, yeah. Arminism, good. So we're just going to go ahead and go down our pathway down here, because I want to do it. Uh, the United Riverlands Committee. Ever since we were first forced to defend our lands from encroaching imperialism, thinkers and visionaries from the range from a political tradition have dreamed of a peaceful, prosperous, and unified Riverlands. The United Riverlands Committee shall be a place where our greatest minds may gather to refine their theories and guide our future. Yes, very good. And we all get another point, right? Yep, we get one more point, which is good. Just in case, because the Riverlands are slowly catching up. The River Republic, I mean. Uh, develop torpedo cruisers. Improve plating. Ooh, that sounds kind of fun. I'll go and help out zone E. Very good. Anti-communist raids. Eh, you might as well write a couple commies, why not? We got enough uh, manpower for that. T-dip, we should probably get rid of T-dip too if possible. Anything here? We could go to limited exports. Which really wouldn't help us at all. We actually need a tiny bit more chromium, but that's okay. We're out of manpower. We are not using really special forces at all. Republican Marines. Actually, the Division Defenders. I'm going to, since we have the political power for I'm going to convert you guys. Oh, we have no cavalry. And you guys are special forces, right? Yeah, so I'm not going to do that. Looks like you guys will have to do whatever you have to do. We don't have military police either. Hmm. You need that at the very minimum. Basic medium batteries, good. Get the next one as well. Atomic research, very good. Very good. Oh, uh, we can't do that. Ah, you might as well start doing that. We might as well, right? The Revit. For since time immemorial. Coins have been used as symbols of national control, a way to spread the ideas of a government to the citizens of the nation. However, a small economy has a hard time keeping a stable currency. With the borders open and the economies connected, the River Republic has pushed for a single currency, the Rivbit. This would solve problems for many companies and tourists who cross the border often. It would be a big sign of unity and trust in the plan in the pan river government to have the currency union. Yes. Uh while well, we have a thing called a Rivbit or a Euro or something like that. Sounds like a good idea. Good, making more factories. I love it. Uh you must well do this. We need the chromium, so. And the United Riverlands Committee. Uh, let's see. The finest weaponry. It seems like we are clear to go. Oh, they're doing the industrial projects, finally. Bill of Rights. We don't believe in Bill of Rights, right? Yeah, we probably do, actually. I kind of want to keep going down and see what happened to the River Union. I kind of want to do that. Actually, let's go over here. There at seven. We can, we can do one, a few more without do anything else. And the poll tax. Yeah, we could do that, but it's only two factories. Review the military. The overwhelming influence of the Bakara Navy has long impeded the development of our armed forces, and it's plainly evident that the current state of affairs is not sustainable. If our nation was to enter into conflict without making substantial changes, we would be courting disaster. It's time we took a hard look at the military structure of uh, our nation. That'd be a good thing to do. A very good thing. Especially as I'm focusing on a lot of technolo technological progress. Five research slots, and a developed industrial base, or river and having River City Society... Science Society. I can't speak right now. My apologies. Uh, maybe we should get some better guns. Maybe. That might be worthwhile. And support companies. Yes, yes, yes. Especially probably field hospitals because that would be very good since we are already out of manpower and I think we're already on extensive conscription and that's not a very good thing for us. Review the military. It'll be done very soon, which is awesome. And once we get that done, we'll make some better letter cruisers. Alright. The fresh meat. I love fresh meat. You get a bonus. Quite a good bonus, too. Review the officer core, not bad. But I'm gonna go with the matter of equipment because we can produce stuff better here. I think that'd just be very nice. Create the NOS. 
Interchangeable parts. An army for an air force. Scrap the system. Reform the system. Jet engines. Army motorization efforts. Soft attack. Guardians of the East. That's not bad. That's actually really good. Uh, on the matter of equipment first. The Bakara military lacks a standardized process in regards to logistics, gravely hindering its fighting capability. Many of our soldiers are currently supply their own equipment, which is unacceptable. We need to step up our organization and start providing our troops the weapons they need. Which is a good thing. It's good to recognize needs in the military. Even though I do, I kind of wish that uh, we could go to war with someone, but you know, whatever. Over here, medium batteries, we're going to save that for... Oh, maybe not. Well, kind of. We can save that for later. Fire control 3. We have to get radar 1. We get 3. Dual purpose. 3. Thank you. Over here, we're going to get that. We're going to come over here, and then we're going to do that. Uh, get some more anti-air. It's not very good right now, but that's okay. So all we have to do to fix this is put three things of cannons on this group. I mean, we can still deploy this now, work on this, but there would be no point to. Oh, boy. Make some convoys for now. that would be fine. I just want to get that gu those guns done first. Uh, maybe we shouldn't build all these navies in. We already have enough. I think that would be pretty good for now. We'll come up with something else probably very soon anyways. Ah, uh, there we go. Easy, right? Easy, easy, easy. Easy peasy. 1014? God dang. It's already 1014? More construction speed! So, early cruisers, Mark IV. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Um, these are actually... Hold on. This is a heavy cruiser. Oh. Well, whatever. Early cruiser battery 3. We could do... This. But it would actually hurt us a little bit with the speed and attack. And if we do this one... We could lose some heavy attack, but that's fine with me. Heavy cruiser stuff, yeah, I'm not about that life. We completely lose... If we go this way, we completely lose all heavy attack and piercing, but... Eh. Dual purpose. Goes up to 32, 28, light piercing. Piercing actually goes down, light piercing does, huh? Really? That's not too bad. 3, 3, 3. You are a light cruiser, so act like one. There you go. Good. So we're done with you as well. Good stuff. Coming to Pakaden. And if we have anything else, we can always throw on a couple more convoys. Oh, it's so sad. We can't deploy. So sad. Tactical Bomber 2 is grab that one. Good. Let time go on. Cool. That one's almost done. And let's initiate construction of Zone B. We've been constructing a lot. We have 51 factories. Not bad. A matter of equipment. Uh, let's keep going down. Ooh. Reliability and soft attack versus production. Interchangeable parts. Even more production in a military factory or military factory and reliability. I'm going to go with reliability overall. It's not enough to make or merely produce large quantities of equipment. We need to ensure our production process is flexible, reliable, and operating with quality control in mind. By using batch production methods, we can accomplish these goals and produce reliable, quality munitions. Happy 1014, my friends. We are gliding through this so far and enjoying it in the process. To the s or the skies, JASA Air Factory de Deterrence. Legalized labor unions. Uh, air production again. Southern thrust. Increasing your gaze. The Nebelwaffe. Not bad. And we are 10, 11, 7, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. We might... I doubt that we can actually finish our focus tree before, before we finish... Or finish the military stuff before we can finish the Federation stuff. But we got to keep an eye on it. Even though we're doing really, really well. Holy cow. Probably get another military factory. Great. Oh, we actually need more steel, though. Hmm. We could maybe... I don't want to buy too much steel. We could lower it. Hmm. Hmm. Support company time. Hmm. Let's see. Lose, like, three factories to produce everything here, or consumer goods. Hmm. I mean, we still don't have some resources anyway, so we might as well just, you know, buy, like, one or two. Kelia, probably not a good idea to buy it from. Uh, actually, we could probably get them off from Hellcorp. I don't want them to raise their, their level. So, I like them where they're at. Send away three things, that'd be fine. Actually, get from Pony Aid. There we go, that's a little nicer. And rubber, we might be able to fix that later. Steel, get some more steel first, I guess. That'd be fine. Because steel is used in so much, especially ships. Reliability overall, great. And specialized ammunition. 
Combat trials have shown that the spirit results can be achieved by making use of certain specially produced types of bullets. We must make an effort to make this special ammunition available to soldiers in order to enhance their firepower, which is good. And I think maybe next we'll review the officer corps so we can figure out whether we want to spearhead. More division attack. Oh, yes, please. Or division defense. Probably want to attack. Add technology hill training. Oh, what's going on? Water towns. Oh, no. What are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? Oh, they're fighting... Oh, Cassia. That might be the thing that we need. Oh, you must, we might as well join. Get war bonds so I can raise my conscription level, which is going to hurt us. I don't want to do that. But I think we kind of have to. We're kind of forced into it. Go to war economy. Yeah, I'm thinking we're kind of forced into it just because we need more manpower right now. Pony power. Which it is what it is. And go ahead and train. Go, cool, yeah. Help me out. Uh, I can do some goods. Yeah. That's fine. I'd hate to be Cassia right now, but just call everyone in. That's fine. 63,000, 65,000 losses. I'd like to send over, like, a detachment of planes, but I don't think we have any extra planes. Oh, well, we do, technically, but we have no manpower. You know, it is what it is. And by doing this, we actually get our ships out, which is awesome. It's fine. The fall of Griffinstone. Vulture's fighting over bones. I guess, like this one, I'm just going to add them to the group that we can uh, make some more stuff. Ooh, artillery's going to need some help. That's not good. You know, I'm going to go ahead and lower this anyways. Limit exports. Just because steel is so bad right now. It's a little better. It's definitely a little better. But still not great. Factory-wise, still need more stuff. Aluminum, though. Hmm. Trade for one more away. Let's see. Family Mountain. Good. Specialized ammunition. And review the officer core. Probably create the NOS. That wouldn't be bad. Reform the system. Militia with ONG. Less division attack and core territory, more de defense, more planning speed, or scrap the system with NV. Um, hmm. What do you think is better? Reforming the system? Or just scrapping the system in its entirety? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Because I'll choose what you guys come up with. I'll do that. But let's review the officer corps. The ranks of our army are ruled with underqualified officers who owe their rankings ranks to personal connections rather than genuine ability. We must make it a priority to promote talent, qualified candidates into positions of authority. An infusion of fresh blood will do much to improve the performance of our soldiers. Well, you hope so. You never know. War bonds? Sure, why not? Approved working conditions? We've got time for it. Why not? Improved plating. Oh, do we not do improved plating yet? Oh, boy. We might be making garbage ships. No, we have this. Ah, but we probably need that one. No, all our armor... No. Super heavy. Well, I have confusion, but whatever. It is 10-14. Uh, let's see, we have a bonus. Cap and growth, retention. We'll get cap regardless, 10% growth. Uh, I guess we go with the retention. I usually choose the other one, so that's fine. Cancel on these, that's fine. Anything else here? 12. Wow, that's pretty good. We have 12. Magical proving day beyond the river. Home guard. Bomb them into the ground. I like that idea. Please... Keep doing more focuses. Griffinstone is gone. We have a big old enemy right here. That is not good. We're touching the Griffonian Empire. We're touching the Kingdom of Wing Body. This is all turning into be a very special area here. Get some better weapons. Better tactical bombers are good. Good, good, good. Getting more artillery is awesome as well. Uh, Marines, though. You're looking kind of weak. Especially compared to the infantry. So go ahead and make yourself at least 20 combat width. At the very minimum. A, we had some manpower, but now it's gone. I would have liked to have thrown some divisions or some air support down here, but I kind of forgot about it. And at this point, I'm a little lazy about it. And they're already attached to the army, so I don't really want to hurt them too much. And they're already winning, so let's review the officer corps. The bulwark. Ooh, more reek. Oh, if we go defense. Uh, we get sapper tactics. Recon companies get more recon and breakthrough, and every army leader gets that. Or Vilhard tactics. Oh, that looks pretty good for infantry. Yeah, I like the spearhead. By concentrating as much firepower into as small as front as possible, our forces will have an overwhelming position to the opposition and achieve local superiority. Combining this tactic with a highly mobile army capable of moving quickly to take advantage of any break in the enemy lines is a surefire way to win. And thank you to my uh, lovely allies for your support and the addition of another country into our river coalition. I could be a tyrant and just directly annex them into our lands, but I am not that. There we go. Thank you. Cassia, Free State, and... 
led by Lua Ramaidi and the Council of the Lindleys, whatever. Who else is going to be able to have enough strength to really administer them properly? Oh, you actually changed colors. I think they changed colors here, didn't they? Huh. God, I want to go to war with, with someone here. Army training. Oh, man, they're not going to join us. Man, come on. Come on, man. Don't disappoint me. Please don't disappoint. Uh, I guess we'll go shock and... Oh, wow, they changed the images for that. Heart attack. I don't see heart attack. We don't have any tanks either, so this is honestly better all, almost every time for us. <sighs> better divisions. Better equipment. Better pony power. Papa Brokara. Hmm. Ban supremacism. Buy that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There goes the balance of power. Duchy. Oh, my goodness. That's huge. That is big. That is thick. I kind of don't like that. We're still mobilizing? Yeah, we are. And that's nice. We're missing guns. We're actually missing guns and artillery, huh? Interesting. I didn't think we'd actually lose that much. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Field hospitals? Yes, please. Even better field hospitals? Yes, please. Republican Marines? Yeah, you definitely gonna need this. Militia? Yeah. Even though you're 40 combat width... I still want some pretty thick dudes there. Spearhead, good. Uh, I kind of want to do the new Union. But we can still wait. We still have things we got to do. So, tactics. The shock troops would be a great asset to our army. These specially trained and equipped infantry would, take, would be tasked with leading the charge during an attack, placing the enemy under intense psychological pressure. Beyond their effectiveness in an overwhelming assault, these troops could also be trained in infiltration tactics to shatter the cohesion of enemy lines. We get bonus for infantry in uh, hills. And it marines and mountaineers and paratroopers. Every army leader gets an attack skill of one and logistics skill of one as well, which is very very nice. Uh, that's actually a little bit ahead of time. Mm, armored cars, yes please. That is good for defense and garrisons. I love defending stuff. Go ahead and do that. We need more guns, just period. We're trying to build up roads in one of our puppets, but that can wait. Go ahead and build up some military factories first. Maybe follow it up with some radar. You never know what we might need. You never know. Hey! Oh, I thought Lucy came out, but no. Come on, can someone please do... I think it's going to be up to us to really... Oh, they're doing investments. Do... Oh, they're doing... Okay, so they're doing the River Union, which is good. So we don't have to. I will do probably the United River Government, though. Just because we can. Local Vibes, Costco's down. The River Federation. All nations who... No other, no other nations done more to found the River, River Federation than us. Yes, we, we have to do that one. At this point, we might as well do the River Army in United River Government. Yes. And we're still ahead. They're, they're at seven. Wait, they're the current leader. Oh. Only the first country to complete a focus gains a point. Well, I guess we've got to do that next. At the end, the country with the highest standing can form the River Federation. And let's continue going down this path. Hill training? Very good. Well, we can't do that yet. That's 70 days. How many more days do they have? Oh, they have like a few days. We can just kind of wait for now. That's fine. Because they'll get up to eight. Why are they the current leader, though? That doesn't make any sense. Why are they the leader? Ah, good. So, uh, River Republic has called for another conference to revise the treaty. They argue that the increased responsibility to the Commission, the Parliament, and the single currency all show that the community is much more than an economic and military construct. After a long time of negotiation, the laws and treaties that came before have been untangled and merged into a new treaty, the Treaty of Rezhekograd. Much of the informal powers of the Commission and the River Parliament have now been formalized. If approved, the River Union will be a much very powerful organization, one which will not be able to size up easily. Protests have been organized in our capital both for and against the treaty as our citizens have become increasingly aware of what is actually happening in the Riverlands. Some of our citizens have even called for an outright federation while others want to roll back on the pan river powers. Regardless if we ratify this treaty or not, the question will surely stay as a divisive issue for the foreseeable future. Union forever. Alright, so now they're not the leader. I am the leader. And because I am the leader, uh, I gotta see what everyone else is doing. And actually we'll have an advantage here. I'm going to do the United River Government. It is time to reconsider the sovereignty of the national government. The River Union has proven way more competent in dealing with issues than squabbling national national governments. We will pressure them into giving up their veto for changing the Treaty of Coldstream, effectively re remodeling the River Co Commission into a unified, united river government. Good. So we should have actually a couple days on there since we didn't choose our focus for a while. Now hopefully they choose the same thing. How they're, oh, they're doing the army? Ah, oh, they're doing the army, huh? I see. I see what they're doing. Go and grab this, but. Let's grab this one as well next. It is 1014. Get some more output. But I think that'll be a good time to end this episode here. I think we've done very, very, very well thus far. Um, if you like the episode, consider leaving a like. Perhaps subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow when we will most likely form the River Federation into one united government. Thanks a lot for watching and have a great rest of your day.